Okay, so in a previous video I showed you how to segment out bones from 3D Slicer for 3D printing or whatever. I'm now going to do the same using ORS Dragonfly. So I'm going to import some image files. These are actually DICOM files, but I find the image loader a little easier. There we go. I'm just going to set the voxel value to be equal in all dimensions so that it's accurate. Loading the data, and there we go. So I'm going to use our contrast and brightness tool here just to make those bones look a little, little more obvious. And we'll go to our four up view where we can see everything, including our 3D view up here. And we can do the same thing either using the contrast button or the histogram up here to sort of see what's going on. Now, one of the reasons I love Dragonfly so much is its renderer is absolutely uh, incredible. So if we go to here and we change our you can see we've got these really nice, specular, solid objects. Uh, we can make that just show the bones. There we go. And it just generally looks really good. There's a whole bunch of presets. Uh, that does actually change it a little bit more than we want. Uh, let's see. We'll stick with bones. Makes sense. There we go. Right, so first things first is we're going to need to create a new segment. We'll call this bones because we're going to start by segmenting out all the bones and then focus on just the femur. We're going to define a range such that the range only includes bone. That looks pretty good, so we can take a look up here, take a look down here. So we do have holes in the middle because the bones have gaps in them. And so we're going to create this uh, segmentation, there we go, and then I'm just going to fill all these inner areas because for the purposes of today I want this to be a solid object. So there we go, we've got these nice solid bones. Now we want just the femur. So what I'm going to do is go to Connected Components, sorry that goes off the screen, I'm going to do New Multiroy 6 Connected. And what that's done is that's created a collection of uh, regions of interest. So it actually runs out of colours but it has identified the pelvis and the femur as different segments and so we can see if we go here and go to connected components analysis again sorry that's slightly off screen then we can select various segments so the ones at the top tend to have the fewest voxels and they're just individual little voxel segments while the ones at the bottom are the biggest segments so there we've got the pelvis and there we've got the femur. So with that one there, I'm going to uh, export that selection to a region of interest. There we go. So if we hide our bones, but turn on just this one, you can see we've pulled out just the femur. That's great, and our, our CT scan uh, segmentation is solid. So I'm going to convert that to a mesh by going to... Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, where are we gone? Oh. Over here, export to a mesh, use cubic, turn that one on, you can see our outline in our 2D views, and there's our model in the 3D view. Now this is quite voxelated, it's quite jagged, so I'm going to use the smoothing algorithm. If we click on our mesh here, go to smooth mesh, let's give it four iterations. There we go, it's nice and smooth, it's a nice solid model. And we can now go to here and then export mesh to file and I'll just pop this on my desktop as an STL. Done. And now we can move that to 3D printing or we can move it to FEA or whatever else you want to do with it. 